Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today how to empty the water on your lazy spa. Maybe the water's getting a little bit murky and you just want to replace it. Right, let's get cracking. Well, in a minute. What we'll be doing today is emptying the water, giving the spa a really good clean, replacing the filter and the chlorine tablet and then filling it back up with water again. This is what the water is looking like at the moment in the lazy spa, it's looking a bit murky. And after we finish this video we'll have it looking like this. But first some top tips to keep your lazy spa water in great condition. Before anyone gets in the lazy spa, make sure that they have a shower. This just washes off any deodorants, skin cream, sun cream, things like that. Before you get in the spa, wipe your feet on a towel. That gets rid of any grit on your feet. Keep a spare sieve handy. This is really useful for just getting out anything like dead flies or leaves or bits of hair. And make sure you keep your chlorine tablets topped up or if you're using chlorine granules. This is the murky water here in the lazy spa. So the first thing that we'll do is shut down the keypad. Let's just unlock it first. Turn off the water filtration and then turn the power off. Then also turn the power off at the plug. You just need to push this red button here. It's also worth unplugging it for extra safety. At the bottom here by the lazy spa unit, you've got this drainage hose. Unscrew the lid anti-clockwise. It won't start draining out because there's a plug inside. Our lazy spa is actually quite close to a drain here. But what you should have got with your lazy spa box is this hose adapter that can just screw on. That allows you to, to just plug in a hose adapter and drain it through a hose. So if you've got a really dry summer, you can use that water to water your garden. Or if your drain is quite a long way away, you can use your hose to extend it to wherever your drain is. So we're now ready to start letting the water out. What you'll need for this is a nice smooth pebble. But before we do that, I'm just gonna remove the chem connect and the filter device. We'll give those a good clean later and replace the filter and the chlorine tablet. Now this is where you actually drain it from. So just reach down and pull the lid off. This is where you'll need your smooth stone because that flap which comes off of the drainage hole will naturally try and go back in and then it will stop draining and the water started draining. Now you don't have to use that hose adapter. If you are near a drain or it's just in your garden, you can just let it free flow out like this and it'll actually drain a lot faster. As I said, ours is quite near a drain, so I'm just gonna let it drain at full blast here. Daisy's wondering what's going on. Hello, Daisy. You okay? Just emptying the spa, okay? And it's about five to four and it's draining at full pelt. So whilst it's draining, I'm just gonna stop for a quick cup of tea in my Slytherin mug. Well, actually it's my daughter's. For cleaning, you'll need a nice lint-free cloth and a non-scratch sponge scourer and a bucket. Don't be tempted to use washing up liquid because that will bubble and you'll get loads of foam everywhere. The best thing to use is a dishwasher tablet because this won't foam up. So just pop that into a bucket, fill that with hot water and give that a good swish around so that, that tablet dissolves. Once that bucket's full up, it will then be ready later on to help start cleaning the spa. So it's about half empty and it's about seven minutes past. So that's taken 12 minutes so far. Give this bucket a good swish around. It's now about 16 minutes past and I'm ready to climb in. Obviously make sure you go in barefoot. You do not want to damage the base of the lazy spa. And whilst it's still empty, I'm just gonna start cleaning because I'm slightly impatient. So take your non-scouring sponge with your detergent water. And I'm just gonna start cleaning the top of the lazy spa here. Well, 
Whilst I'm doing that, there's a link above about how to add additional air to your lazy spy if it's getting a little bit soggy. I'm just giving that a good scrub all the way around. Then I'm going to start inside. It's good to pick a specific reference point, so maybe where the unit is, the water filtration device, and then either go clockwise or anti-clockwise around, and then you know where you start and where you finish. So giving these a good scrub in the grooves, up and down. Now I'm doing this all whilst the lazy spa is still draining. Once it's completely drained, then we'll be able to clean the base of the lazy spa. So it's taken about 37 minutes to almost empty. Now in the back of where the air jets are, out of here, that's where you get a lot of grip built up. So we'll get rid of that later on. If you've got a wet and dry vac, that'd be absolutely perfect. Remember to also clean the underside of the cover of your lazy spa because this can get a little bit slimy as well. So definitely give that a good clean. Then to get the last bits of water out, you can lift the lazy spa. Don't try lifting it if there's too much water in it because you might damage it. But if there's just a bit left, you can just pick that up and that will help drain the water. Don't be tempted to use the handle. They're only designed for picking it up when it's empty. So now we've virtually got no water left inside. We've just got some grit. As I mentioned earlier, if you've got a wet and dry vac with a nice soft nozzle, that'll be perfect. I'm just going to use a cloth. Get as much grit off as I can. And then squeeze that outside of the lazy spa. Be careful when you're cleaning along the back of here because the edge of that air bubble crease is quite sharp and you could actually cut yourself. So just be careful in there. Might want to wear a pair of rubber gloves. This is looking much, much better. Now I'm just going to turn the hose on. And with some fresh water, I'm just going to give this a good old rinse. And then use a clean cloth and just rinse down the detergent which came from the dishwasher tablet. And we've still got the plug out so it's going to drain away. Just giving this a really good clean, ready to be filled up again so we can enjoy it again. Oh. Remember to rinse off the cover as well. Great stuff. Just some final bits of grit to get out. And time is against me, the sun is setting. But that is looking absolutely fantastic. I'm going to put the plug back in. Then remember to put the cap on the outside. Just screw that on tight, clockwise. Plastic thread, so be careful, don't cross thread it. Should go on nice and easy. Before we fill it up, I'm just going to remove the dirty old filter and replace it with a new one. And these units can get a little bit slimy as well, so give these a good rinse under some tap water. That's going to go in the bin, that's beyond cleaning. If the filter's not too bad, there's a link above now about how to clean your filter using a washing machine. It just saves you a bit of cash.
these all nice and clean. I'm going to take a brand new filter, place that in the filter housing, put the filter housing lid on and then screw that down to secure it in. And on this particular Lazy Spa model, we've got a Chem Connect device. So I've also given that a good clean. So take your chlorine tablet. These tend to last between three days to a week. Now when you're filling it up for the first time, you might want to use two chlorine tablets in here instead of one. It's up to you, but I find one is enough. Put the lid on by placing it in the slots then to lock it into position turn it clockwise but you can adjust the strength of the chem connect device so we've got four holes here that allows more chlorine into your lazy spa first of all let's put the filter back on that just screws on clockwise again that should go on nice and easy don't force it this chem connect has just got some locking divots on it so it just goes on and then locks in clockwise and now we're ready to start filling up the lazy spa with fresh water do not power it on yet once the water is above the chem connect device then you can turn on your keypad and start heating the water but that is going to take a while for the water to reach that far this is going to take a couple of hours to fill up and the night is drawing in. I'm just going to put the cover on. If you want to clip it down, you can just adjust those clips and then clip it in. Remember, you've got those childproof locks. So later on when I unclip it, I'll show you how that works. About an hour later, it's reached above this line, so then you can turn the heating on. Press the orange reset button to turn on the power. Then to activate the keypad, hold the power on button in the middle. So let's put on the heating. And when you put the heating on, the water filtration device automatically comes on. Then select the temperature. I'm going to select a toasty 38 degrees centigrade. And it's doing the water filtration. The current water temperature is 18 degrees centigrade, so that's pretty cold. It has now reached the max point, so I'm going to turn off the water, put the cover back on and leave it heating overnight. And this is the next day after overnight of heating. Push that button in and squeeze at the sides to remove the clips on the cover. Make sure you have a shower before you get in. Wipe your feet and there we go. Look at how clean that water is compared with what it was like at the beginning. Absolutely brilliant. This lazy spa really is so relaxing, especially when you've got the bubbles on. Oh, in the top left, there's a video on how to add air to your lazy spa if it goes soggy. In the top right, how to clean filters using a washing machine. That just saves you a little bit of cash. And in the bottom left, the lazy spa running costs. Enjoy your lazy spa and get the kettle on. Or maybe open a bottle of bubbly.